can get by the Switch 993. Um, it is about well, almost a, a month till E3, so uh, with all the new rumors and trailers and stuff going up, I thought I'd go ahead and do my predictions of this year's E3. Um, starting with Nintendo, because a lot of rumors are coming from that company right now. So, um, <clears throat> start off with uh, stuff that I know is going to, or I know and kind of know it's going to show. Okay, uh, the new Kirby game we showed a trailer off uh, a couple months ago. Uh, Kirby Stars is what it's called in Japan. It's another side scroller, but this time it looks more like a, a sequel to like Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. Uh, it looks really cool. And then they also showed off a bit earlier than that uh, another Kirby DS game. And you have like 10 little Kirbys um, and you control them. I don't know how you just do, but I think they'll show off those two Kirby games since Kirby had Kyarn sold so well, they you know they have another franchise on their hands that can sell well again. Of course, I, I don't know, remember any time that Kirby is actually not so well. Uh, Super Mario 3D, of course. Um, I think the Tanuki suit will be in there. There's a mix, it's a mix between Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Galaxy with a bit of Super Mario, new Super Mario Brothers in it, so see how that work, looks like. Uh, now, I, I need to slash this off because they've already made a US release date for uh, Xenoblade, aka Monado, or Monado uh, Beginning of the World. Just don't know when it will come out. Uh, hopefully, they'll say a US release date for both The Last Story and Pandora's Tower. And also a U.S. release date for Chibi Robo 3. Uh, it was uh, it came out in Japan like last year or the year before that, and no info that coming out in the U.S. I, I'm guessing because I'm not sure if the first one sold well, but I, I know the one for Walmart. I don't think it really sold well because uh, yeah. Um, and then of course Project Cafe, aka. Nintendo Stream, aka Nintendo V2, aka uh, Wii HD. Uh, lots of rumors going about that. The whole s stronger than PS3. Mind the sound and background. Somebody's going on my lawn. Uh, I want to see that, and with the Zelda Skyward Sword kind of being delayed, I'm, I want to say it's going to be like everybody else is insane. It's going to be like Twilight Princess where it comes out for the game. This will come out for the Wii and whatever Nintendo's next console is named. Uh, but yeah, also, I, these two I doubt will get a release date. Uh, Disaster Day of Crisis, it's been out in both Europe and Japan since like the second year of the Wii. I don't think it'll ever come out in the US so well. And maybe they'll announce. Project Hammer again for either 3DS or Wii. Um, you know, that kind of got cancelled or put on hold. So, uh, yeah. And also, uh, more info and maybe a US release date for Rhythm Paradise, which is the Rhythm Heaven game for the Wii. Um, games I would like to see Pokemon Snap 2 for either the Wii, 3DS, or some console, uh, an F Zero. New Star Fox Blue Pikmin 3 announcement uh, in gameplay, please. Um, and also, whatever Miyamoto's new IP is, because he, he was saying last year he wanted to hurry up and finish Pikmin 3 so he could get a group working on a new IP because he wants to make a new character and stuff. And his new hobby right now is swimming, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I've got for Nintendo. As well. Yeah, um, alright now Sony, uh, they've already showed off a lot of the NGP, um, showing off games and how well it can do, I want to see some more games, maybe a price announcement and maybe show off some launch titles, um, new Sly, Sly 4 since it's been 
teased in the Sly Cooper collection. Uh, a Jack and Daxter for the PS3. I know they were in the uh, move game, like brawl type of game, but I went like full on just them Jack and Daxter game. Uh, more info on The Last Guardian. I know that got delayed a bit. Um, but more info, maybe some gameplay. And maybe it'll be demoed now. And uh, again, again, just some new IPs from them also. Uh, Microsoft, just new IPs. I, the only rumor I've heard from them is uh, the team working, the team that's not Bungie anymore that's working on the new Halo game is also now working on a hardcore shooter game for the Kinect. That's about all I can say. Um, other companies, other than the three main ones, um, Half-Life 3 announcement, they probably got Portal out of the way. All their other franchises kind of finished. I guess, or at least a sequel, I would really like to see Half-Life 3. Um, yeah, uh, Mushroom Men 2, the first Mushroom Men for the Wii and DS. They were two different games, they just came out around the same time. Uh, they were both very good. I, I want to see a, a sequel for uh, either on the Wii or um, their new console. Um, or 3DS. Uh, the, the Miyazaki game that was showed off last year, that's like for the PS3 and the DS. Looks really cool, I forgot the name of it. I don't think it has an English name for it yet, but more of that. Um, show, some showing off from High Voltage of the Grinder, especially the Wii version, since the Wii version will be the only version as a first person shooter. And with Conduit 2, which you'll see my review of that next Friday, uh, Conduit 2 is really good. Uh, I'm, and I saw a bunch of gameplay for the Grinder, so I want to see that. Um, more info, gameplay, and maybe a release date for Wii Wall. If you don't know what it, that is, look it up on YouTube. It's a cool Wii game where the Wii goes into the little stuffed animal type puppet toy and you like move him around. That's how he walks and stuff. Uh, look it up. It's W I I W A A. And we got, I think we have one or two actual gameplay trailers and then in the past, not three, but the. Um, one of the game shows, I think it was G GSC or something like that, uh, they showed off some actual gameplay where people were trying it out. And uh, their, the, their last game, the core game, is coming out to the US. It was supposed to come out in April, but it kind of got delayed, so it's coming out in August. I've got pre ordered. Pre ordered it now, it's only 20 bucks. Um, look that up. You've got like 10 minute trailers of that game. Um, and, and gameplay because it's already out in Europe. But uh, yeah. And then this new little list. Games that may never get announced, but I'm too hopeful to predict them anyways. Uh, these are games that most likely will never be made. We just kind of want them made. Uh, first off is uh, Beautiful Joe 3. The creator and maker of Beautiful Joe series said he didn't want to make a new game. Okay. Um, Kind of be nice to see a third one, since he was in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It was pretty cool. So, uh, uh, Voodoo Vince 2, I like the first one. That would be a good franchise for Microsoft to get back into if they don't screw it up. And Psychonauts 2, I think Tim Schafner, Schaffner, whatever said he did want to make up Psychonauts 2. I don't know if that's just something he wanted to make or they are in the making of it. But uh, that'd be nice. Oh, um, another for the other, another game for the other list. Um, more info and in game, or gameplay of um, Beyond Good and Evil 2. Because we thought they were going to show it off last year and they didn't, so. And my last for the list I was just on is a Gumby game. Because I'm a real big fan of Gumby, and I, I like the one that came out the Game Boy back in like 2005. I would really like to see a new one in any console, preferably maybe the PS3. Or, uh, yeah, any console, because I'd buy it either way. Heck, if it just was an Xbox exclusive, I'd buy a freaking Xbox just for freaking Gumby, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, um, 
when it gets sooner to E3 and more rumors or gameplay, whatever, I may make another E3 predictions video. But that 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 next time, uh, just pictures of uh, made up box art because that's what I usually do. I usually do this a month before it, and then about a week or two before E3, I'll actually I'll just do a, a picture fake video game box art of the games just to get an idea. So. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I'm s sorry for people that were wanting more Microsoft uh, announcements, but I mean, or predictions, but I mean, like, what else do we have besides, like, unless they do, but, like, new games, is not new, f yeah, new franchises, I mean, you got Fable 3 already done, Halo's basically already done, of course, there is a company working on it, one. No news on Gears of War, because Gears of War 3 hasn't even come out yet, but, um, and then that one game they showed off last year, just a trailer, but that's about it, but, uh, yeah, so, but, um, so, yeah, alright, um, okay, bye.